Okay. Well, let's talk to Chloe first. Chloe's on a roll to find more clues about Rachel now that we're so close. Hey, Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. We've printed everything we need. Now it's time to focus on the big board. Sorry, we got Frank on our side without using you. Well, yeah. Didn't exactly expect that to be a helpful item. Yep. Oh, we can turn on music? Uh, copyright issues. As much as, as much as I love it. Okay. Uh, Frank's clues, Dave's clues, other stuff. Let's start at the top. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues. There is a specific number of clues to select. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Hmm. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Well, of course they are. Okay, so all I'm doing is selecting it. Alright, hold on. Trying to... Wait. Okay. Paper. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? Okay, so David Madison and Nathan Prescott accusing Rachel Amber of being a drug mule to the principal. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel. Or protect her. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. This is her note that what he did wasn't cool. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Okay, so he's referring to everybody as a specific dog. So Nathan is a Rottweiler. Stella's on here as a dachshund. Katie. Okay, don't see. Oh, Logan's on here as a Labrador. Justin's a beagle, Chloe's a bulldog, nice. All right, nobody else that I notice. So that might help us encrypt the account book. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Okay, so this was her apology letter and about wanting to drive away with him forever. So I don't think we'll need that and we need this. Yes. The game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. All right, so Nathan is Rottweiler. Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Is it just Nathan on here that's part of the Vortex Club? We'll look for Rottweiler. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. So a bunch of bulldog, beagle, holy cow, that is a lot of money. Greyhound, there is a Rottweiler on here. Um, 9.30 at 10 p.m. There's a Rottweiler. 60, is the, those are thousands? No, that's gotta be... Yeah, because there's two zeros, so his commas are supposed to be periods, I think? Maybe? Alright, so Nathan's on that one. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. I don't see Rottweiler on this one. Although there's a 70 without zeros after it, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand your, your book. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? <laughs> Alright, I don't see ADHD. Oh, ADHD pills. 
Molly, green dream, acid to halves, cocaine, fire bud, cocaine, tie stick, Molly. All right, I didn't see Rottweiler on that one either. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? All right. Party supplies, no doubt. So weed, GHB? Hold on. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought that was. Okay. G yeah. That's exact. Oh, nope. Deselect. I meant to look at it. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Stray dog. Oh, so stray dog must be not a regular client. Interesting. Don't see Rottweiler on there. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Oh, and Rottweiler's on here. Okay, and that's Molly in weed. Okay, so if we take the paper, oh no, okay. So this one, this one, this one. Oh yes, these are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Okay. All right, so we got to finish the rest of the board. Okay, David's clues. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Yeah. For sure. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. So these are dates, times... Longitudes and latitudes. No idea what they mean. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. No, he was trying to prove that she was selling drugs. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? This is his note. Rachel dealing drugs with Frank, maybe? Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. This one's Twilight Zone. That's what that, um... You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Okay, these are camera placements. I don't know if that's useful. Of course. I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. She's quiet and doesn't talk to everyone, anybody. She must be doing drugs. <laughs> David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Surprise visit from Rachel, being upset that David was following her. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. Okay. So maybe this? Because we see this, this truck in these photos. Hold on, can I flip through the photos? No. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. So if I didn't find the right clues, it wouldn't move over. Great. Now how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? So are these all just crazy stuff? Why the hell are you following these people? Oh. And to where? He's following, okay, this is following the Twilight Zone. Yep, another car David was tracking. This one's Twin Peaks. Oh, nope. <sighs> Who else was David tracking here? I don't know which one this one is. And I don't know what that is either. All right. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. So he does drive a red truck, but there are two red trucks. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? It's not, because this car has tape over the light. So, my dog, my dog is playing. Let me go. Oop, I want to actually look at it. Hmm, who does this car belong to? Still don't know what that license plate stands for, but that is Nathan's, which means this one. 
Nope, that's Twin Peaks. Nope. Alright. Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. So we have the Chloe, dates. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Okay. Here we come, Rachel. Oh, we didn't even do the last one. Did we not need to do the last one? What was the last one? Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> so we have dates that Nathan dealt with Frank, dates and times, and then we have coordinates where um, David tracked Nathan's truck. All right, so we got the last one. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Okay. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. I'm trying to, so he just wrote Rachel in the dark room over and over again and there's eyes all over it? <sighs> there's a lot of numbers in here. Yeah, I don't think any of that's gonna be a password. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Probably, but I don't think that's a number. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. There's Rachel crossed off in the lower left. Pretty sure that's Rachel. Not sure. Looks like I know. Yeah, not sure what the rest is that look like letters. But 9535 is circled. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Mm, no, that's not a passcode. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. We regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings. Oh, okay, so this is the one that we read. The disciplinary report that and that did end up getting covered up. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Okay, I'm pretty sure we want this. And we want that. Okay, that is saying no. SIM card? Okay. Oh. Alright, I thought I knew what I was getting on. I don't think... Looks like this isn't the right combination. I'm really surprised. Oh, three out of four? Better look for any clues or numbers that could be his pen code. Okay, well, let's pick that. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Why do I need all of those? They don't seem relevant to me. Oh, let's start. What the hell? Can't fucking fight. Okay, dude, and you can't freaking spell, so, you know. We're hacking. Oh, man, what would he have sent if Warren had... Oh, I don't even want to know. All right, let's look at this. Nine, five, three, five. We're gonna try that. See if she says anything. Okay, no. Oops, bad code. Oh, my bad. Nine, five, three. Oops, come back. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Okay. Pretty sure that's not it. It's gotta be on this paper. 3988? 0058? 3988. When did, when did Rachel go missing? No, I don't think that would work either. Five four two is in red. Five 
Those numbers gotta mean something. Why would he scribble them down? You locked it, dumbass. My bad. Alright. Three nine eight eight. Zero zero five eight. Hmm. I'm trying to see if there's any numbers in here that would correspond to what he has on his paper. But that doesn't make any sense to me. Five. Ugh. Quit. Oops. Bad code. Alright. Five, four, two. Am I doing something wrong? Maybe I'm supposed to use these clues together somehow. Make sure to change your pin. One, one, one. So, are we saying maybe he didn't change it? Maybe he was... You locked it, dumbass. Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, come on. I have, I have important sleuthing to do. Alright, so we tried that. What the heck is on here? Would he use his- I don't think- would he use his birth date? August. 9.29? No, August is 8. What's up? Need the G. Okay, cool. Bitch, you sold me water, asshole. Calm down. Bring it to me. Bring in it. Stay away. Pigs on the beach. That's it. Ten. So he got it. About 9.50? No, because he said, come and get it. He sold me water. Hmm, okay. So somewhere between 10 and 1 in the morning. 9.30. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Got a party tonight. Home. On the way. So he's going to this person's home. So this is October 4th. Almost 5.30. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Need to score ASAP. Don't make house calls. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No fucking around. I'll give you the exact directions. In transit. Okay, so this one we shouldn't have coordinates for. Drug dealer drama. You up. What do you prove? Like, you're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Need more stuff. Are you home? Don't come. Oh, man. Okay. God, Nathan. You're out of control. Are you tweaking? Look her brother up, please. Meet at the beach. Be cool this time. Okay, so something's going so on. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. I mean, we knew it was Nathan, or at least I no, knew it was Nathan. Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? Don't contact me at work. It's brutal. Told you before, being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Jesus. Okay. So. Investigate. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. All right, hold on. When's the party? So October fourth. This 4th. infamous party was the fourth. All right, and we were looking at October fourth. Don't make house callers. You have a car. Charge me double. Okay, so that's not gonna work. But there should be another one. 
He says, are you home? Party tonight. Okay. So, 5.30. So, October 4th, 5.30 is what we're looking for. That's 11. There we go. So, okay. So this is him meeting Frank. This is him leaving because he, because he took Frank. No. Hold on. I'm losing my mind. Okay. <laughs> he went back? This is Frank's book. Okay. Jesus. All right. I need three clues. Okay, so those two are from Frank. Him getting drugs from Frank. If he got them... Oops. He got them after 11 p.m. According to this. Okay, yes. So after 11 p.m. So this one... This one, 11 p.m., sometime after 11 p.m. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? Maybe. That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? So that's before 11. That's at 10 p.m. on October 4th. So he went somewhere else. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Well, we already looked in his room. There is October 4th on here, but that's earlier. Not much out there. That is about 11 o'clock. That's a little bit before 11? Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <sighs> Poor rich Nathan. Hmm. No October 4 there. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Interesting that he eats at the diner. So, this one? Chloe. This is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Something's gotta be there. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. Ooh. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? Oh, that's true. That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. That's an interesting response from her. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Oh, look at the blue in the corner. The bright blue. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. 
So what is David up to? He's been kicked out, but would he give up all on his surveillance stuff? Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? Maybe she feels like she has to be. Warren! No. Why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn? Well, clearly there's something in there. Let's see what Warren wanted. Thanks for pulling me off, Nathan. Talk about going ape. He deserved to be down. I don't want to stoop to his level. Besides, somebody's going to kick his ass sooner than later. You are wise, Grasshopper. Thanks. I wasn't exactly the hero this town needs. You still paid your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to the party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know. Promise. Cool. Have to calm myself down. We probably have an updated journal. Yes, we do. This is the moment where all the clues come together and we finally have a location outside of town that may lead us straight to Rachel, Amber, and beyond. After everything that happened with Frank, I had to convince Chloe to keep going forward with me since I do feel we're at the end of the road. Hopefully not the end of the world, but whatever anger Chloe has inside her that makes her so self-destructive is matched by her balls and bravery. Yes, Chloe has gotten me nearly killed, but I know she would die for me and I can't forget I put her in a wheelchair to slowly die in another reality. Chloe's more focused now than before. I told her we have to keep moving forward no matter what, and I couldn't find Rachel on my own. That was enough. It's time to shine a light into the dark room. What pictures? Okay, a wind thing. It's like a bird nest. Bars. Skeleton with a skateboard. Okay. There's, there's a squirrel. I think I see something in there. Watch us. This has got to be it. Okay. But you got to get the door open. And clearly that's not going to open it. Part of me is like they should go to the police, but then it's also like you'd have to explain everything. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. You'd have to explain that you got a, dr a drug dealer's code book. That wouldn't look good. Um, but maybe after you go here and you find something, you can call the police. Oh, there's the windmill. Cool. Metal sheet. Is there anything else? It might be inside, maybe? The birdie moved. Oh, there's a house here. Uh, I hope no one's home noticing that some kids randomly pulled up to their barn. Hey, Chloe. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Super There's Marcus. photos behind you? Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. Well, no, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Bomb shelter boom? The heck? Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. What a weird place to store Chloe them. Chloe would make a great detective, too. Why would you store them in an old barn in a chest where they're just likely to rot? Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. They're called portraits. Oh my god. 
No more secrets, Sean Prescott. This tractor has paid its dues. Yeah, it's like no one's been out here for forever. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. This barn clearly has been neglected. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. This is from 1903 Martin Lewis Prescott. Dearest Mr. Linden, I'm writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you've chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest plus a written apology. Jeez. These conditions are not met by the end of the day, July 24th, in the year of our Lord, 1903. That's two days! Rest assured will make your life a living hell. Holy frick! Damn! Ring. Ring. Another photo? Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. But not anymore. Goats, pig, uh... There's no way this rusty-ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Okay, then where's the power going to? Scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. Uh, okay. Obviously this is something. <sighs> Nothing here. How is that not- what- what is it? Oh, it's just a- oh, it's just a board. Haystack. So many haystacks, so few needles. <laughs> Am I actually so searching many it? Haystacks, no. haystacks, okay. so few needles. What I- Oh, this sounds different. Did we actually find something this time? Whoa. What is this? A bunker? It's totally brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. <laughs> I was gonna try. How do you tell that's brand new? It's not exactly shiny. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Like, Chloe's not gonna come check that out immediately? Oh, the good old days. Eggs, 14 cents. Bacon, 70 cents. Sugar, 50 cents. Coffee, a dollar. Cocaine? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that stuff like that was readily used for medicine and stuff. Pretty sure this old pitchfork won't open a padlock. Try again, Max. Okay. What are we missing? Ropes, pulleys, where's the power? Scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. Where does the power come in from? Can I cl oh, I was like, can I climb up here? <sighs> the rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. Okay. Chloe, can you give me a hand? You have a whole haystack over there to climb up on. Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Sidekick. Sidekick. Not minion. Pool. Okay. Is that what you wanted? Oh. Alright. I guess that works. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Yeah. I think it's fine. Tell me if you need any help. <laughs> what are you gonna do from down there? <laughs> Rope. Here's the other end of the rope. Okay. 
There's the hook. Are you gonna try to hook that onto the padlock and pull it? Is that the idea? Hook down there. Okay, we do need Chloe's help, it looks like. What else is here? Oh, it's now. Please be careful up there, Max. I just wanted a picture of the owl. Hey, buddy. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cute. Okay. All right. A hook attach. The hook is attached pretty tight to the rope. I could use it to open the hatch. Okay. Hey, Chloe. Can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Thy will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Now what? So the rope goes up here through here. We're just gonna like... Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Oh, I see. Okay, you need the motor. Alright. Wouldn't that undo what Chloe just did? Yeah. Uh. Wait. The frick? What? Okay. 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 <laughs> I had I had a moment. Alright, let's attach it. I think that'll be fine to do it in that order. And then uh don't fall, Max. Hey Chloe. Get Chloe to attach the rope. And then pull. Oh. Alright. Awesome. Max Giver strikes again. Can I? No, I can't jump down from there. I will hurt myself. <gasps> all right. Let's see what this is all about now. Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Bomb shelter, apparently? Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. Just letting Chloe go down by herself? Should I even... Should I check the journal at this point? power down here. This bunker is so surreal. <sighs> this is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. First a padlock, then a digi code? Hmm. Someone really doesn't want visitors. Oh, okay. So I guess the f Oh. All right. So it's four, five, two, because those are the most worn. I don't know what order they go into. Oh no, it didn't work. Two, five, four? Ah! Oh, think, think. Was I supposed to get a date off of something? It was July, what, 24th? But that's... I mean, five isn't July. <sighs> Wrong code. <gasps> okay, so it's locked. All right. Am I supposed to know what the code is?
The only date we had was that letter we picked up. There wasn't there wasn't a date on this, right? Wow, sir. Mm -mm. Talk about home on the range. So tracks. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. July twenty-two, but that's that just still doesn't get me five four two. July twenty-four. Try f I tried five two four. <sighs> when do they build the barn? Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into oh. selfies. No, no, no. And there's nothing I can't dig through this. There's gotta be a date for the barn. Like a date the barn was built or something? Rusty button. Yeah, we looked at that. Was there a date on the sign outside? Now that's a serious door. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. <sighs> you can do it, Max. That says no. So we are just trying numbers? <laughs> ah! Oh, yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. So we were just trying numbers. We we're just trying random numbers. There wasn't anything to find. Open sesame. Oh, 